All right, so we're done with our starter. So um, at this point, you can put your device away for a moment because uh, I'm just going to begin to walk you through a little bit of some background on uh, what we're going to be doing in terms of chemical reactions. We're going to be studying chemical reactions by looking at various uh, pollution types and events. And I'd like to uh, have that be a focus on our local area. So as we think about this a little bit, um, pollution events occur all over the world. Uh, I would like to focus on our local area, uh, around Portland specifically, but the Columbia River and uh, for today, the Willamette River. We'll also be looking at uh, some air pollution events that have been in the news the last several years. And we'll be looking at how these uh, uh, pollutant compounds are made, uh, how they react in the environment. And I want to keep this on a very positive basis because I think it's easy sometimes to just say pollution's occurring and it's bad and uh, um, our river is sick and our air is sick and everybody's sick and it's a downer. And the pollution events around here in Portland, there's actually quite a bit of good news. And so today I want to focus on some of that good news. I'm going to begin with a discussion of uh, the Willamette River. The Willamette River uh, flows from uh, the area around Eugene as it comes out of the mountains and flows uh, north up towards Portland. And then is that main river that flows through the main part of Portland. It turns to the west, headed towards the ocean, eventually merging with the Columbia River and onto the Pacific Ocean. Uh, during the early history of uh, uh, industrialization in the Pacific Northwest, Portland and the Willamette River uh, really, really did not get along very well. Uh, Portland was uh, an uh, industry uh, hub uh, for the manufacture of uh, ships that would be cruising up and down the major rivers like the Columbia, as well as going uh, out in the ocean. And for the shipbuilders, they needed to use coatings, they did welding, they did other sorts of metalworking, and uh, there were a variety of pollutants that they just dumped uh, into the Willamette River. Oil companies uh, also uh, allowed spills to enter the river. There were power companies uh, that uh, put some very harmful chemicals uh, out into the river. And by the early 1900s, there were newspaper accounts which uh, were telling local residents, never drink from the river, don't go swim in the river, don't go near the river. It is one of the worst polluted rivers in the country. And that continued for a very long time. Well, about 15 to 20 years ago, uh, people in the Portland area, as well as with the federal and state government, decided it was time for us to begin to clean up the Willamette River. And so they got busy, they got real busy. We're not done yet, but we have made some tremendous progress, especially in the area of downtown where we're gonna go on our field trip today. So um, many people ask, is it possible to swim uh, in the Willamette River? What if I get some water in my mouth? Uh, am I going to get sick? Uh, I see people out on boats. Um, is that really safe? Well, the answer to all of those is yes, you can swim. Uh, no, it doesn't hurt you uh, to get some water in your mouth. I would not go down and start drinking uh, glassfuls of Willamette River water, but that's more because it's, uh, it has a pretty high sediment content. Uh, you do see people out enjoying the river, and um, uh, perhaps that's something that after we get done talking about it, you might even uh, be able to go out and uh, enjoy. So the future of the Willamette River is uh, one of, of uh, a very positive message that the river is getting healthier, that the city of Portland uh, really cares about it, and uh, it's something that uh, 
uh, you might want to be able to go out and participate in. This video, and I'll leave this up for just a little bit, um, on YouTube. It's about um, where we were two months ago in mid-February uh, called the Valentine's Day Dip. And it uh, is organized by uh, a group called the Human Access Project. I'm a member of the Human Access Project. And so some of the things I'm gonna be showing you and telling you uh, are gonna focus on their work because they have been one of the citizen action groups that's been really instrumental. And so what they did in Valentine's, on Valentine's Day this year, as they do other years, is they went down to the Willamette River when the river was 44 degrees and they uh, did a little polar bear swim. And so I'm giving you the uh, access to that. In red is the actual title if you choose to go and Google it. Um, but I've also put the uh, link, the video in Canvas so you can watch it there. All right. So if you would watch that video, and uh, in the meantime, while you're watching the video, I'm going to head uh, out uh, into the field, and uh, uh, I'm next going to see you when I'm down at the Willamette River. So see you in a few minutes.